the horn silica is imparting a pattern of activity really into the siliceous part of the environment, which is the atmosphere. Now, if you're a geologist, I think maybe we might have a geologist among, amongst us. If you're a geologist, then you know that silica is what is down there under the continental uh, like base, and it's pushing up high mountains. Even if they're limestone mountains, down below that, there's silica pushing up from within the earth. On the other hand, if you are out exploring the Mindanao Deep, then it's calcium that's sedimenting to the ocean bottom, and it's working downward. It does the same thing in agriculture. Uh, your calcium is working downward into the soil from above, your silica is working upward into the atmosphere from below. Now that silica force, the force, is working from deep within the earth, from the bedrock of the continent. And it's working upward. It comes to its fullest expression in the atmosphere, which is why ordinarily we would spray the horn silica into the atmosphere. And because the atmosphere is sort of like it's fresh and it's working upward very strongly in the beginning part of the day and ordinarily we'd spray it in the morning. That doesn't mean that it can't be sprayed at night, at midnight if you like, or in the afternoon, or on a rainy day, or whatever else, because that process may actually be what's most appropriate on that rainy day. You've had three weeks of constant rain at Milla Milla, which is another way of saying water, water. And you bloody well need some sun on your paddock or it won't grow. Well, you can spray it. And you can spray it in the afternoon or the night if you like. You can spray it with horn silica and spray it on the ground. You don't have to spray it in the atmosphere. But you'll get a stronger effect out of your sunlight and out of the silica part of the process that's going on in the environment if you do that, if you use this preparation.